How's it going, folks? This is uh, Demo and Zahner. And today we are in northern Nevada, undisclosed site right now. Uh, we got a tip. Uh, a good friend gave us a little in insider on where to find some uh, amethyst. So, so basically, what we're looking for is the nice purple. And of course also there's regular quartz crystals on top of it. There's another, another piece. Yeah, we are finding some beautiful specimens. And then, uh, like I said, you also, you also find quartz crystals. Got some nice chunky pieces. I like them chunky. But, oh yeah. Also, no matter where you look, you'll find just a hint of purple. Yeah, flip, it's everywhere. Flip the rock over, you got quartz crystals. So, about where Zahner is standing is where we're going to start taking a look. Some nice little specimens there. Some of the ones down below are coming out nice crystals, long crystals terminated on the end. So, yeah, we're going to be digging. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the the sounds of a stamp mill behind you. Every once in a while you'll hear it. Let really me quit. <laughs> I think it's a stamp mill. Gotta be me but, making that kind of noise. But yeah, we're uh, a nice day out in the out in the hills, looking for amethysts. All right. So we're gonna get to it. Start digging a hole. Sounds good, brother. Alright, let's get to it. Let's do it. Alright. How's Demo doing here? We're off in search for purple rocks. And I think if I'm not mistaken what what we were told, what creates the purple is uh iron. Uh, radiated, I think he said irradiated, irradiated. Iron. Yeah. So this area is known for it. But every once in a while you'll find a find a pocket and it'll go yep, loops up just, on you. Just start pulling them out. Yeah. Yeah. Might have to go down and get my shovel. Get the bar and Some of this up. Get a classifier up here too. So yeah, I'm using mine down there right now. Yeah, I head down, head down the hill, grab my stuff. I said all, all the quartz or all the amethyst you see right here that's on top of the ground. He it's called, everywhere. Well, yeah, he called it float. So that's yeah. Kinda, that's kind of what you're looking for. Just follow it up. Yeah, follow it up until you hit your your outcropping. You can see purple right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, this whole area is loaded. Yeah. Alright, brother. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my stuff and uh, get back to it. Sounds good. Alright. That's some of the pieces we're finding right now. Nice. Nice, nice, very nice. All this float. But, let's see what uh, Zahner's up to up here. Trying to find another pocket here. I got two pockets. Yeah. <laughs> but the one that I was digging earlier would. Stuff a lot bigger than that was coming out of it. Hopefully it's kind of blurry there, but try that again here. That's a nice piece. All came out of this area right here. Very nice quality. And this is this stuff's just incredible. That's why I would I want to dig all this back because there's more pockets in here. I think the pocket goes this way, right up through here. But 
but you just gotta keep digging it. Life's a garden, dig it. Yeah, but like I said, you can see some of the stuff our friend Tom was finding, uh, just absolutely stunning. Yeah, he found some really good samples. Let's say you can see the down here. It's nice colors. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Yeah, oh, it's. Ooh, that rock's bigger than I thought it was. This has been an extremely successful day for Amethyst. Might crack this one open. Might find yeah, something. Oh, there's lots of them. Yeah, I might find something in that one, so. I'll go grab my gear. Yeah. Crack that one Bring up. Bring it on down. Yeah, I found uh, an old square nail, some old broken whiskey bottle, a bunch of round nails, and some purple, but I haven't found I didn't find any crystals. So I was right behind the tree. Actually you can see my bag up there. Yeah, uh, this is all I mean, look at this, this is all just loaded. Yeah. This is all amethyst. All right, well, let me go grab my bag and uh, help you do, do some digging down here. All right, brother, sounds good. Right on. How we doing, folks? It's your old pals. Demo. And Zoner, and we're here to do our closeout for the day of Amethyst. And clear crystal as well. Now here's... Zoners. Some of the points here. A lot of nice little ones, beauties there. Real purple. This one, this guy here, yeah, that one's nice too. This guy, yeah, you got some good specimens right good there. Good points in there. Yeah, then, sure. here's some of the bigger stuff that's still in the rock, but the color's so gorgeous. That... I'm just hoping the the color comes up on the camera as it, as you see it right now, because it is. It's really purple. It's purple. And then we have demo stuff here. Not much of nothing. I mean, I still. You got some nice points in there. Yeah, I got. Real nice color, nice crystals too. Wait I mean, until that stuff washes up. You look at this. You got the color, and you got the crystals. There might that might be amethyst once I clean it up. Yeah. Right now it's too hard to tell. Yeah, I got some nice pieces. I'm gonna to try to cut with the rock saw. See if I can get some nice clean pieces. Okay. okay. Nice crystals there. That's the trick. Is you gotta keep digging till you find a pocket. And of course, where I was digging earlier, an old artifact, square point nail. The old west. Yep. But that one, uh, that one, I'm not taking home. I'm gonna leave it. It's not what I'm looking for. But where was that other one? I found a really good one. Yeah. That's a beauty. Yep. Yeah. And of course, and I still have some stuff in the bag. But... So yeah, I mean, we had a blast out here today. And Tom and his his friend, they found. Oh my God, what they found! Yeah. I mean, good, <laughs> good size, two, three inches long, quarter in diameter. Uh, perfectly terminated I and mean, just beautiful stuff to hit a pocket and they really did well and yeah. we were really glad to see that right there we were glad to see it just as long as people are finding good stuff and having fun that's what matters exactly but yeah we're gonna go ahead and call it a day so uh, hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully it get you out looking for, for your own rock specimens mineral specimens because we certainly love it. Yes, so. we do. <laughs> so this is your old pal. Demo. 
and Zarner saying, Don't, don't let your meat low. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.